All right, hey everyone, this is Ash. Welcome back to the King's Speech. <laughs> and I'm excited for this review. I mean, I kind of went into the problems never line one a little bit low energy and came out high energy. It's gonna ride in this high into high Q because I've seen and heard like such good things about this chapter. I cannot wait to get into it. So let's dive right in. High Q chapter 337. Next. We have translation by Adrian Beck, lettering by Erica Tariquez. We have Kuro going, this one point is huge. This is going to decide it. You have Akashi just thinking, should I still with strong left, maybe the less defended right, or be bold and, f and go straight up the middle? Should I take advantage of Bakudo-san's momentum? Wouldn't he be more effective as a decoy? What's the possibility of missing? What are the other side blockers seeing? Does it look like... Uh, a slip bluff to them. Ah! He goes, I want to try it. And he does a back row set to Bakudo. Oh, shit. He goes, oh, perfect set. And you see Bakudo's arm just whipping back. The arc ball just makes a perfect arc to him. And he slams it. Ah, oh, man. Wakatsu is there just in the nick of time to bump it perfectly. Oh, man, it goes right over the net. Oh, man, it bumps it back over and it lands out of bounds. He's like, oh! <laughs> and Fukuro's like, yeah, kill, kill! It's like, Bakudo! Oh, and then Wakasu sees the sign, you know, that says, give each play your all. And you see them going back and thinking about it. So Fukurani 23, Mujinazaka 21. And you see them just trading balls back and forth. As it comes down to Fukurani set and game point with Fukurani 24, Mujinazaka 22. And Fukurani is just cheering. And then you see a tip over the net and they set it back over. Wakatsu is looking at it. Does he nails a spike right into it? And you have a sweep. Oh man, game over. Set count two. Two to one. Mujinazaka 25. Fukurodani 20. Or Mujinazaka 22. Fukurodani 25. <laughs> Winner Fukurodani. <laughs> oh yes, they won. Alba's one. So like, thank you for the game. So we have for my last tournament in high school. I'm glad I got to play against you. Vakuno just grips his hand back and he's like, oh, I think it's totally awesome how you can just hit just about any ball. But from now on, I think you should tell all the other guys who aren't the setter to step up and set better for you. Even if it's asking too much, you should do it. Oh my god. Oh, I am seriously going to start tearing up. She's like, you got a point. It was Kotaru Bakudo. You're always looking dead ahead and nowhere else, ain't ya? And then he sees them um, sitting in the, I think the locker room. He's like, if we just got, if we just got the rotation round to my turn, then I would have caught us up in no time. Says the guy who got the least blocks out of anybody on the team. Oh God, you see the team's just crying. He goes, you're the ace. He's like, Wakatsu-san. You're the ace and I get to set in the ball for you a lot. And leaning on you leaning on you like that puts a big burden on your shoulders. Heck, in some games you're getting hand hounded by the other teams like nobody's business. And I still put it up for you. He sees, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. He's like, I get all that. But I put that ball up for you because I want to. He's just crying. Oh, man. So you got a point to that. Everybody's expectations had me scared, but today I learned something. Seeing that ball go up for me is what pushed me to give my best. The ruthlessness the best players get to unleash feels good. He's like, oh, well, it ain't like Michon Micho Sensei let me try anything too off the wall crazy. <laughs> 
You can see the coach just shouting at them going, Ain't nobody snakes worse at emergency sets than you lot. Quit leaning on Wakatsu to save your lazy butts every dang time. Like you all are re you all are real good. Next year you make sure you get to carry Michan Sensei off the court on your shoulders, got it? Oh man. Oh, don't do this to me. Mujinazaka High School National Spring Volleyball Tournament quarterfinals eliminated. See Fukurani walking off and Akashi just swerves off and just goes to sit by himself. And he goes, that terrified me. Though it wasn't likely I would be the sole cause of our loss, it wasn't unthinkable that my failures would be the push that started the slide downhill. He's like, hey Akashi, are you reflecting on the game or regretting things? If you're just reflecting, I won't bug you. <laughs> You know, the guy's just like, I think you're bugging him already, Bakudo. So he goes and sits around right next to him. And he's like, so yeah, you were, anyways, you rebounded real good there at the end. You were totally flailing like a rookie at the start, though. <laughs> and you see the little word, arrow just going, stab. I allowed myself to get distracted by unnecessary thought. So he's like, you know what? Did it? Great. Now you'll be fine now. Great. You know what did you know what did it? Great. You'll be fine then. Now you know how to fix it next time. And he's just like, yes. And he starts crying. Oh, God. And he's like, Bakudo-san, you said that the Karasuno versus Nekoma game greatly affected you, right? He's like, hmm? Yeah. Man, that game got me so hyped. It's like, it's alright when it's a good game because it affects you in a good way. But what if the game you watched beforehand was a sloppy, slogging mess? What then? You need to fix that habit of letting any little thing sway you. And instead, set up a solid and reliable pregame routine that will put you in the right frame of mind every time. <laughs> He's calling up Bakudo on his emotional mood swings. He's like, uh, sure thing? He's like, Agashi-san never changes. He's like, anyways, that back row set there at the end sure felt perfect. It was so much fun, even though Kiryu managed to dig it. I'm glad that it worked, yes, but during games, I think we need to rely exclusively on plays that we've already tried and mastered in practice. <laughs> I'm like stubborn, too. <laughs> and he's just like, but you use what happens in games as feedback to fine tune and improve practices. That's what we do all the time. <laughs> The team is like, holy crap, did I really just witness Bakudo successfully refuting Akashi? He's like, this is our last high school tournament though, so there's not much feedback or fine tuning left we can do. <laughs> like, exactly. And he's just thinking like, feedback using prior plays to improve future plays. Taking what used to be terrifying and transforming it into something fun. And then Bakudo's just like, okay, tomorrow's the day, guys. Tomorrow, we're gonna dig and spike and... No, we're gonna dig every spike and score on every hit. I was like, oh, there it is. I knew you'd say that, Akashi, but guess what? Oh, no, the Akashi's like, every one of them is. He's like, aha, I knew there, there it is. I knew you'd say that, Akashi, but guess what? I've thought about it real hard, and today I've got a counter argument. <laughs> Nothing is impossible, just really improbable. Oh, man. I love Bakuda so much. He's like, all right, we're going to keep going, guys. We're going to keep winning, guys. You see a flashback to Bakudo just fearlessly plowing on ahead, even if no one else was behind him. And this time, you see his team right there, standing shoulder to shoulder, heading off to that future with him. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. So next match is about to start. <laughs> it's a match of the two little giants. Oh, shit. My face is going to hurt from smiling so much. And you have Mio Ken versus Karasuno. And the two little giants are facing off. Oh, my God. Uh, again, this was relatively short chapter. But man, oh, this, this is like the perfect example, I think, of what every Haikyuu fan says of it's impossible to pick just one team to root for in a match because Furudate makes every single person on either side 
super compelling in their own right. And it's impossible to kind of just pick me like, you know, I want this guy to win. I want that one to win. Because you really do want all of them to win. And man, I really do feel for what Katsu, you know, puts in his best in this game. You even see him seeing that sign, you know, give each player all. And sometimes, you know, all is not good enough. Or sometimes your all is not as good as the other guys. And sometimes you lose. And it's kind of heartbreaking that, you know, you know, he doesn't get to win. But it's like, yeah, you know, not everyone always gets to win all the time. But I think this also kind of cements for me the idea that I don't really want Haikyuu to continue after this tournament ends, you know, once all the third years leave. Not because I don't think he could write a really super compelling story, but because I don't think I want to read a story where the third years are not involved in it. I mean, to me, like, this ending after this would be kind of the perfect stopping point. And this chapter kind of reinforces that for me, but, you know... Mixed feelings on that, I would be fine either way, but just seeing this, you know, seeing the third years telling them, you know, carry on our legacy for the next year, kind of just got to me a little bit. And Bakudo, oh my god, when Bakudo was first introduced, you're like, alright, this guy's kind of a dunce, you know, he's not very clever. But I think it's kind of like the Luffy effect, you know, where Bakudo, Bakudo's naivety to an extent, a kind of, you know, optimism makes him seem to come off like he's simple-minded. But I think he does see a lot more than a lot of people give him credit for. And, you know, you could probably say that's why he went with the owl themes. He does see a lot more than it suggests. But I love that, you know, he's telling his, telling Akashi, you know, that you can't always just practice because you know games volleyball games whatever games you want are not perfect like there's always going to be something new that happens something that comes out of left field something unexpected and it really is how you adapt and react to that that kind of defines how good your playing style is and like it's exactly what Bakudo says you know you find out what works in a real life game setting and you try to apply that in your practices so that when you do get out onto the court, you're ready to respond to anything that can happen. <laughs> I think it again fits in perfect with Bakuda says, like, nothing is impossible, just really, really improbable. And I just love that, you know, you have the contrast of early Bakudo kind of running off into the future in the sunset by himself. And now he's got, you know, a solid group of people that will follow him anywhere and I just I just love it so much I cannot wait for the next match but uh, honestly I don't know Haikyuu might be one of those series where I wait and binge read it uh, like the matches um, in batches rather than kind of try to do it week to week because honestly <laughs> the tension is too much for me I kind of want that gratification of seeing the match as it happens. So I don't know, I might do that for Haikyuu's just, you know, instead of doing weekly streams like I'm doing now, I might do monthly ones, like let four chapters pile up and then do that. But uh, something I'll think about, I might even put a poll out on Twitter for it. But uh, yeah, good chapter. I think Promise Neverland probably wins out this week, but Haikyuu, Haikyuu was close. It was really close. It was really good. Alright, so uh, cut it off there. A few little updates. So I am doing a reread of the series on Twitter. I'll link the uh, link to that reread in the description below. So right now, because I am at work and it's kind of been busy lately, I'm trying to do just one chapter a day right now. I might speed it up depending on, you know, time and all that. And some days I kind of post a couple of chapters at once because I've been busy during the week and I didn't have time to do once per day but uh, if you do want to kind of see my thoughts as I'm going through this series again uh, please do give it a follow and hopefully you enjoy it and like I said I'll think about putting a poll up for moving my IQ reviews to probably 
uh, monthly maybe going forward but uh, let me know if you like the weekly format or if you'd actually prefer monthly uh, I'm open to any kind of feedback on that and yeah so that's it until next time this is Ash I'll talk to you all later